because it is cold outside and we bought like summer kind of clothes so I went and got me a uh, pullover, Calvin Klein, and a hoodie and I'll be layering up. So I got this hoodie, you know it had to be Calvin Klein, and then I got this blue jacket, Long Island the last time. trying to layer up here. And I hope you yeah, nice so it's cold around there. We were packing up. Already to match, so. It was supposed to be like mid 60s. Good to go. And like <laughs> yeah, in 70 and by Monday. Now, you don't sound like a New Yorker. No, a group of North Carolina. North Carolina's in the house. But this has been home base since the early 80s. I've been living there in New York. Yeah, I've been living there that entire time, but it's been home base since then. Back when, huh?
we are finally settled in this amazing hotel suite. It's called the Hotel Kimberly. It's on 50th and uh, Lexington. It's about a mile, half a mile from uh, Times Square. Close more to uh, Central Park where we want to be. Have you ever been in a hotel in Manhattan where there is a balcony and you can go out? Like, check this out. I mean, literally you go out, it's huge. That's one chair. I think it needs two chairs. Is it wet from the rain? No, not yet. I mean, this is amazing here. Hudson down there, great view. This is the birthday suite. We are uh, having brunch on the penthouse floor here in our hotel, and uh, it's pretty cool. We're trying to let the rain not keep us indoors, but... Uh, Making it work. Got a hoodie, got a coat. Yep. We're good. Birthday continues. Bye, girl, bye. All right, we took a disco nap. I am refreshed. We are here in the city. It is still raining like cats and dogs, so we're catching an Uber over to our friend's house. And we are going out to dinner. We're going to a Spanish restaurant, so I'm not quite sure what's on the menu. Uh, we haven't seen our friends in a while, so it'd be good to see them. I don't know if they're camera shy, but if they're not, I'll get them on the camera. But if not, I'll see you guys either later on tonight or in the morning. Bye, bye, bye. So we made it over our friends. This is their terrace. Do you know how rare it is to have a terrace in New York City? Well, here you go. I'm in love with the terrace. Don't mind those people's statues. I love a house with flowers. I think these are my favorite right there. Which flowers are your favorite? Way up north. Way up north, yeah. I didn't even see the sunflowers over here. But that, you was, did... that was the best, you know, because yeah. I, I try to... All right, we just finished our cocktails on the roof and uh, I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> Hopefully I continue to camp, uh, film, but uh, we're having dinner at a Spanish restaurant and it is called, can y'all see that? Let's see. It's called uh, Salinas. You can't see the sign because of the, the lighting. But it's a cute little Spanish restaurant, and I'm going to give you a review. So uh, let's go inside. Wow. It does. That is cauliflower what? There's two different kinds of cauliflower? No, that's artichoke. This is artichoke. Oh, that's artichoke. Wow. I can smell it. Well, as you can see, those appetizers didn't have. Uh, Will I be happier with the arroz pasco or the pasta one you were talking about? Are you a chorizo fan? Yes. The pasta, for sure. It's fantastic. It's something Chef's really well known for. He's had lots of right ups. You're a big on it. chorizo fan. It's a dish that I've I'd only seen on. Um, the like large party menus and tasting menus. So when I saw that it was an a la carte option now, I was like stoked. So I recommend it. And describe the pasta itself. It's like angel hair, is that what you said? Yeah, well it's as thin as angel hair just about, and it's a durum wheat, so it's a whole grain pasta, so it has a firmness to it. Um, and it's short like this. Oh, uh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, so you have you have fideos and then fidawa. And fidawa is... I was going to say, is like a fido wa? Yeah, so fidawa is the same kind of pasta, it's yeah. just a little bit thicker. Yeah. So I ordered the sea bass. Yeah, the sea bass? 
Yeah, thank you so much. That is enough for two people. Yeah, that was a good call. Yeah. I keep saying we should do that. Remember I always say that and he's yeah, like, but, yeah. But yours are more... But A, you don't eat clams and B, that's just... Well, that I know not me. today, yeah. but I'm saying we've been talking about this for the longest Although during our diet time. Happy birthday, dear I wish for world peace. <laughs> <laughs> so you do blow. All right, we just finished dinner and it was one of the most amazing dinner. My sea bath was... If you're ever in New York City and uh, you're looking for a good dinner and a good sea bath, go to Salinas. You can't see it in my camera. You can't see it. Anyway, it's on West 18th and... What street is this? What street is this? What street are we on? Um, 9th, 9th Avenue. Avenue. 9th Avenue and Yay. West 18th. Check it out. Anyway, the bourbon's kicking in, so uh, bye, girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweet babies, as Monique would say it. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, the day before Memorial Day. It is about 8 o'clock in the morning. What time is it? 10 o'clock. Oh, 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we had a great time last night. Wonderful breakfast. I'm drinking bourbon now, right? <laughs> With an ice cube. Well, not right now. Not right now, but it was. I, I've never really drunk bourbon. I always saw other people with a cigar and had the little bourbon, and I was like, you know, it's my birthday. I'm gonna try it, and I think I have a new drink. But uh, no, I got it this morning or this afternoon in New York, <laughs> and it's pouring down rain, as you can see. All of those, we're gonna put our robes on, eat breakfast in bed. My husband came and brought me in bed a croissant with Nutella. I got my espresso over here. It might be one of those mornings and when it dries up, we are going to the Vessel in New York City. And I keep forgetting the name of that thing, the high rise. I keep calling the Mile High. Highline. The Highline. <laughs> the Mile High. That's pretty much it. So it's going to be an uneventful day, which actually that's what we want. We've been on the go, 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 go. We hit the ground running yesterday, so it's just nice just to wake up. I'm thinking we're going to have a fabulous dinner or lunch or something again today, right? I'm sure. And maybe a massage and a, I need a pedicure so bad. But that's all I got for right now. I'll talk to you guys later. It's not depressing, but I'm not. I'm excited. Okay, bye girl, bye. All right, we got our butts out of the bed, put some clothes on, and I'm layering up. I have a sweatshirt on, I'm gonna have a jacket on, I have a long sleeve underneath here, thanks to Macy's. <laughs> and I'm sitting in my little uh, kitchen nook here in my hotel suite. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go to the vessel. The rain has stopped, so there's a window of opportunity. And we're gonna go to the uh, High Line Walk. Uh, if you're from San Francisco, it's kind of like the Salesforce building where they have that walkway that goes across. It's more fun and when it's not raining, but it is what it is. The croissant that we had this morning and the Nutella was thebomb.com. Yeah, so it may not be too much footage. If I get anything exciting, I would definitely put it on. We leave tomorrow morning. Time flies. But also next month, I have New York layovers, so I'll be having more New York City. I have two trips to New York, Manhattan, and I have two New Jersey trips next month, so... I'm gonna get my East Coast fix in, I guess, for the summer. Hopefully it'll be much warmer and the weather will be much more better than what it is today, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep a happy face going and keep this birthday celebration going. You ready in there? <laughs> All right, bye girl, bye. <laughs>see people climbing up it just opened up uh, last Friday no, they, yesterday, yesterday. Two days ago. Two day, what, or whatever, whatever. <laughs> but the, the reason why they closed is because there was so many suicides people going up there and jumping and taking to the trend and going viral and now and it used to be free but now uh, you have to pay entry fee but check out this too 
serious soul cycle. I don't know if you can see it, but this is soul cycle outdoors at the vessel. Getting their spinning on. Right next to the vessel. So are we going up? Well, later you'll find out. Stay tuned. All right, we're walking up, seeing what all the hype is all about. I'm gonna see you walk, 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 walk. Getting our exercise. <laughs> and the rain, you can see the water. So what is this even for? <laughs> you don't have to go as fast as I'm going. We actually paid money to exercise. We paid all this money to climb the stairs and there's an the elevator right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're supposed to take the elevator up and come down. What were we thinking? I don't know if you can see the Hudson Bay, but it's out there. All right, we finished the uh, vessel, which is right over there. And now we're on the high line here. Uh, we're at the end of the road of it. Right in front of me is the, uh, or I should say in front of me, or behind me in the camera, is the Hudson River. You look creepier in that bush over there. Like you're Jason or something. <laughs> uh, but we're making the best out of it with the rain. We just finished up the massage and it was probably one of the best, if not the best. Not the best. I meant to say Manny Petty, see, right there. One of the best. Uh, just the scrubbing and the, the massage, the rocks, hot oh, rocks. Hot rocks <laughs> on my feet, that was the best. That was the best. That was a nice, nice birthday self-care treatment. And as you can see, it is really pouring down, so we might just have a nice little lunch, end up at the hotel, get a massage. Okay. And call the day. We're leaving out in the morning and uh, can't wait to go see our daughter Chloe. So, uh, bye girl, bye. Bye girl, bye. You can't leave New York City without having New York pizza. So, we are at Norma's Pizza on 8th and, uh, no, on 9th and uh, 53rd Street, right on the corner. So, uh, let's go check it out. I'm gonna have a glass of the um Barana de Vila Grande. The Edna Rosso? Yeah. Okay. And what's the Italian spirit? He'll have an apple spirit. Apple spirit. Apple spirit is very good. I'll write that, okay? Okay. I'll have the margarita pizza. Can you add sausage? Yeah. Okay, sausage. Okay. You want any appetizer or anything? I ordered one, but I didn't feel like it. What's the bread that has the bruschetta? Do you have bruschetta? Bruschetta, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you want to do the bruschetta and the cotini di melanzane first and then the pizza? Yes. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome.
So the birthday still continues. So yesterday we had Spanish food and this pizzeria is actually Sicilian. So that was something new for us. And with this drink, so far it's so good. Let's get into it. Bread smells so good. Dip it in olive oil. That was a good crunch. <laughs> So the bartender came by and said I ordered the boring drink, so he wanted to make a special drink for me. What's the name of it? Negroni. Negroni. He's from Italy, so I trust him. I'm looking at him saying it looks great. Pizza has arrived. That is the margarita with sausage. And Kelly's got the something with artichokes. See, oh, so ham, mushroom, artichoke, olives. Get into it. Get into it, okay. Let me try my drink. Ooh, it's definitely better, definitely stronger. You wanna try it? Yeah. Tell me what you think. Good. I love the one ice cube. We definitely have to get that for our house. All I can say is, wow, that was a great midday. It's our, it's, it was fabulous. <laughs> it was very good. I guess it's going to be our dinner. Probably we have leftover pizza we're going to take home and have that with a little champagne, get our massages in our room. We leave early in the morning, so this might be the last to see me until uh, tomorrow. And don't forget, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to catch me every day, check me out on my Instagram at SkyBobbyTV. For now, bye girl, bye. Well, all good things must come to an end. This is the ending of our trip. That is the bad news. The good news, we got upgraded to uh, first class. My sweet Kelly is over there. Get into it. So this is the last day of May. My birthday is over. I celebrate the whole month. You guys follow me. I can't wait to see what June brings to us. Um, anyway, I keep saying anyway. If you're new to my channel, uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure everyone likes or give a thumbs up to this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Guys.